Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here with Rascal Shiro and we are playing on the Kingdoms Chronicle server and today I am uh, happily going to announce that we got some feedback concerning this citadel tower whatever it is and these spikes going around it so we're gonna be doing a little bit of decoration around that thing also this area looks real nice I had some ideas on how to work here and what exactly I'm gonna build over there and over here a lot of ideas a lot of ideas you know but before we start doing anything I just want to show you guys some things also I appreciate all the support you're showing me on this channel by leaving likes in your comments <laughs> I, I, I really I really do and uh, in between episodes in between the last episode and this one I've been digging this hole if you remember it was just a narrow passage like through here and now I extended it roughly just roughly you know when we're gonna be building some staircases here taking us all the way down here and this is going to be a villager breeding center and and trading center all in one two in one <laughs> let's uh, check out these guys we have two of them drug types and they're gonna be parents of all the villagers they're gonna be here um, also I need to convert them first but I was thinking of maybe decorating this place a little bit more but before we start doing any of that um i'm gonna pull a prank the first first one on the server i believe that i'm gonna d be doing and it involves a certain friend of mine that i did some collabs before to successfully perform this prank i'm gonna need some items here um actually i might as well just leave these shulker boxes here here so they don't cram my inventory also I should I should dump these <laughs> a box filled with diorite and goodies <laughs> pretend you haven't seen that one <laughs> I'm gonna need my spruce um, is it even filled Those of you who have been following me and my channel, you know that Mir and I did a lot of collaborations. But one of the first ones on the VentureCraft SMP world, when he joined SMP for the first time, we built him together a hobbit house. Just underneath my humongous base, he had a small house just for himself that I helped him build. And this is like a reminiscence to that when when we uh, first met up when we first started uh, working together having conversations hanging out and stuff like that so this is just a tribute a prank <laughs> so that i remind him of the time when all of that started the friendship and everything but i do encourage you to go and check out his episodes 
on that particular Hobbit house in the previous seasons. And just to leave him a like and leave him some nice comment, just show, show him some love and support because I think that he really does deserve because he's really trying hard. Also, he could use a little bit more subscribers. So if you do like his content, make sure to subscribe and to follow him because he is really putting it out there for you guys and for himself. And I think that all of us do appreciate when you give us some kind of feedback. In the interior, I didn't want to organize or decorate anything. I think that Mir is more than capable of decorating this house if he likes it and if he decides that this is going to stay. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he just comes here, um, has a laugh, <laughs> maybe even a bit of a heart attack, <laughs> whatnot, and just decides to tear it down. Remember, this is just a prank, and if he decides to remove it, that's his choice. But I quite like this little build. Uh, <laughs> even though I used just one type of wood, just a spruce wood, I think that I really nailed it when it comes to detailing. <laughs> I, um, I think that these uh, stripped uh, spruce logs really helped with the design and also these lanterns in replace of, of torches really do come in handy and really do improve look of the certain build in total. Anyways, let's move on from here and let's work on our builds for, for, for change. What is this? On my way home, I decided to stop here and take a look at the shops to see if there's something new. And Button Butt has opened an auction on the Enchanted Apples. Oh, just one. Hmm. Other questions, etc. Enchanted Golden Apple Auction. Okay, let's take a look and see who bid. Button Butt, one diamond or one diamond block. Uh-huh. All right, all right. No matter how much the highest price gets. Okay, okay. Okay, so... Rascal. Bidding... If I can spell. <laughs> Bidding 10 uh, diamonds. Done. Let's put the book back. Ha, you shall be mine. <laughs> After I paid a visit to Mir's base and built him that little hobbit house, it's been days. He already posted an episode on his channel with the reaction to it. But <laughs> what I've been doing in the meantime was actually sorting out some streaming stuff for, for my OBS. Also preparing some stuff for the stream because we have here a chest with items that I prepared for, for this field so we can decorate it a little bit. Also for the entrance, but all of that you will see in the stream so you can join me. Um, well, if you're new to the channel, subscribe so you'll get the notification when I do go online. I can't set up um, a specific time when I'm gonna go streaming because it all depends when I'm free. <laughs> So, in the meantime, I did this thing, like this mausoleum, and you get down here, and I placed some, some decoration in the form of, of uh, dark oak logs and this uh, black concrete, and I think it looks really nice. A little bit of the fire pits here to give us more particles, depth, and detail, but when you do come down, oh boy. Oh boy, it took me a while. <laughs> Working with villagers on camera is really stressful because you can't expect their behavior. They're really unpredictable, but I've maxed them out. So you can see trading with them for uh, blocks of quartz for these guys, stone masons. Also, these guys are also stone masons. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm really happy uh, about this, that I've managed to trap five in total in every single one of these pens. Decoration on the ceiling is a checkered design that I really like. Occasional uh, fence with a with a new block uh, lantern hanging from it. I, I think it gives us a nice feature here. I've never actually done this before, but I'm quite pleased with it. Also, farmers here, farmers there, and then we have uh, these two um, 
guys, <laughs> toolsmiths on this side and on that side. And also, brand new villagers that I didn't trade with. These guys are not locked. This one probably picked up some barrel, <laughs> decided to be a fisherman. But behind him, I have a villager breeder with a sets of rails. <laughs> this is uh, quite a um, claustrophobic hallway, if I have to say <laughs> anything about it. As you can see, the villager, um, they're producing villagers, so we are going to trap them in the minecarts and deliver them to another place because I plan on creating um, guys that will give me enchanted books. So this is it for, for this part. Um, some, some concrete walls having uh, different, different textures, different, different colors. I think this looks really nice, even though it's a little bit dark, but that's what I was going for. And that hole over there is like <laughs> space, unclear, which gave me another idea. And I'm going to do that in the future episodes, which is going to be a decoration behind this castle here, whatever this is. <laughs> not, not right now, it's, it's too big a task, like right over there behind. But what I would like to do is to get you guys up to date on what I've been doing is I've placed these signs dictating what's on that side, which is a cactus farm. We built that in the previous episode. And this one is still bland because I'm still coming up with a title for this pathway and where it's going to take us. As you can see right now, it's just a pathway taking us all the way to the bridge that we have built in the uh, stream together. Finally started streaming. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun. Uh, I forgot how fun it is to stream and to hang out with you guys and to talk, chat about all the all the kind of nonsense and, and hobbies and stuff. <laughs> it was really fun. It was really fun. So we do have this bridge that we've constructed. And also, after the stream, I've expanded this bridge into the mountainside, as you can see right over here. Uh, it still needs a terraforming on the outer side. <laughs> but let's negate that for now. And when we do go through this tunnel, we are going to find ourselves right over here, like hanging a bit. So I started carving this part because I was thinking of building a bridge. And that bridge is going to take us somewhere here on the inside. And right over here somewhere, I was thinking of creating a second uh, area, like a kingdom. But that's for the future. Right now, I would like to spend a little bit more time on this part here because you see, <laughs> there's some plans that are not finished. <laughs> so that's that's what's going on. Okay, so we do have our villages trading center. I've got some feedback on this thing. A lot of new ideas happened. Streaming is enabled on this channel and stuff like that. But also, Blue came by and delivered pearls as I spoke in my stream. Thank you, Rain. This is this is really nice, improving the image. Um, I said that I'm still a noob when it comes to flying with the Elytra, but I'm an old school guy that uses Ender Pearls to move around. So <laughs> he went to the Nether, to the end, sorry, and he acquired me a box of items. Another thing is that's been bothering me for quite a while is the mess that I have here. All these chests, all of this <laughs> is such a mess and I need to clean it up and to start, well, decorating this part. This is supposed to be a central part of, of this small village um, that is a part of this cathedral right over there. And I would like to start doing that right now. Uh, first off, clearing shulker boxes. Now that we have cleared all of that mess and actually just replaced it to <laughs> to this location. I mean, at least shulker boxes are organized in this double chest. But right here, we have a blank canvas that we can 
work with. So what I'm imagining, envisioning, is that I would like to have um, maybe like a pathway right here, and then a building right on this spot. So let me just take some materials here just so I can um, just like uh, maybe maybe that's the size of the building that I want to go with. And this building is going to be probably not something like that, <laughs> but it's going to be, I don't know, run down, so to speak. And then we're going to have another pathway. And then I was thinking of placing a well right over here of some sort. And that could be a magical well <laughs> where you would get your, well, not so good wish wishes granted true because this is a Halloween town and uh, the whole point is to scare people. <laughs> and then... Let's see how, how far do we go. One, two, three, four blocks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, let's say six. Six blocks in. And then we're going to have another house. Probably all the way to here. And yes, I would like to do it like that. So n n it's not in line with that. It's a little bit off, off, the, off the symmetry. <laughs> This place is finally taking shape. <laughs> let's just walk through it and let's try and experience it. I mean, I'm not even halfway there, but I'm at least I'm at least getting somewhere. <laughs> let's sleep real quick because you know, the nighttime always messes up my recording. <laughs> and this place is not properly lit up, so it's going to be hard to see. Anyways, I've been, I spent a lot of time on this thing and I wanted to create it um, to be like inorganic shape, something that's impossible to build and yet something that resembles um, sort of a whatever <laughs> style of building, you know, someone who would build this would be possessed by some kind of magic and he would embed a magic into this in order for this to stand because this makes no sense but it looks cool it looks cool it kind of fits in with this whole theme and when you look at this well that we have here i've used cauldron filled it up with water also the same lime green bottom as we have in the lake and I've placed a little bit of campfire underneath, so it just emits this kind of particles, and it means that it's toxic. Evaporation is always magical in this game. But as you can see, I'm gonna I'm gonna use different materials here and there. For example, in this build, I've used andesite, I've used gravel, I've used uh, gray wool. Um, also, these trapdoors that are opened, kind of like a support thing for the roof and for these um, unnecessary parts of the build, just to give it a little bit more shape, a little bit more character. Jungle wood implemented here, nothing in, inside. I'm just jumping for you to guys to see. <laughs> uh, also, bone blocks. I think they could go nicely in here. I even um, choose the uh, different direction. Uh, the, the facing just to give it a little bit more shape and detail. I'm gonna play around with these Maybe I'll place like buttons in the middle just to give it a little bit more character And I was thinking maybe even doing that sort of corner thing with this build so I might as well do that later um, Originally I thought of placing this cobblestone uh, path around the the, the build but as soon as I start placing these houses, it no longer made sense. It was too messy and too busy. So even even this cobblestone path here needs a little bit more like uh, stairs and, and uh, slabs maybe. Let me see where are my stairs. There they are. So for example, this. That's a nice detail, right? 
So I will be playing around with this. Also, I need to get some kind of uh, pipeline into this thing. <laughs> um, what I was about to say is that I don't think I'm going to be decorating them inside. Maybe just a basic decoration, but not serving any kind of greater purpose. Not like this house or that house over there. But now that I'm looking at this build, it's probably have to serve a purpose because it's covering this place. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really glad and I'm really like enjoying this whole build. Let me just take a flight here. So you guys can see it from the air perspective. It's really coming together. Also, this green part here, I was thinking of um, creating like a park of sorts. But it's going to be dead <laughs> and gray and, and brown, you know. So, But it's going to be a park with custom made trees, of course. Like petrified tree maybe or, or, or uh, some kind of dead tree. Or uh, it's been a um, tree that's like... Um, been cut in half or something like that. I don't know. You guys could give me ideas for that park over there. Also, I'm accepting all kind of ideas on how I can improve this build and this decoration because I, I really enjoy that uh, that stuff with you. Um, a lot of a lot of good feedback come from the from the community. So <laughs> don't be afraid to leave any kind of comment or suggestion down in the comment section. I will be working on on this build a little bit more and placing some doors and windows just like I've placed here I'm missing windows here <laughs> well guys look at me <laughs> I've decided to give it a try with the scaffolding because <laughs> I'm kind of growing tired of placing blocks and dismantling them and this one is well designed to serve that particular purpose so wish me luck that everything goes well i'm trying to organize my materials really hard here and i'm stuck with the wood and the wooden boxes because as you can see even though they dyed brown i still have some material inside that is not wood and i'm going to be placing them inside of this place here trying to neatly organize them but before I do that, uh, which is uh, going to be off camera, <laughs> so I don't bother you with that. Um, hello, Leek. Uh, what you can see is that I pretty much did finish the nonsense design of the buildings here. Because every building here is supposed to not make any sense <laughs> and, and still be a building. So it still has to be recognizable, but it has to make no sense. Either it's too big or it's unusual in shape, something that you probably would never construct for yourself, or the interior of it would be all over the place and stuff like that. Also, shapes and, and um, the posture of the house is like nothing, nothing according to whatever YouTube tutorial would tell you to do. So as you can see, this one is rather shaped like a Christmas hat, even though it's pure white in color. As you can see, I've been uh, mixing some some of these um, quartz slabs and some carpets just to prevent the mobs from spawning on top of it. Also to give it a little bit more texture and shape, I hung uh, a bit of <laughs> jack-o'-lantern over there. This one is rather unusual, if I can fly away a little bit. It's got some kind of decoration on top <laughs> which makes no sense and serves no purpose but it's perfect just like that for for this place also um this house here i've added a little bit of um, um second story to it just for decoration from the outside also i've replaced every single window pane with those of uh, lively colored glass just like what we have right over there so I thought um, instead of using gray or clear glass I went for these colored uh, paints which I think bring a little bit more life to this whole place also 
I've been terraforming this place a little bit, placing some on this end site in the in the pathway. And it looks quite nice, you know. I was thinking of placing a gravel, but then maybe that's gonna be too much. So I don't I don't wanna go overboard. And this place is all that's left for this this part to be um uh, constructed and done but before I uh, start building here I need to build um, some kind of s storage sorter right over there because when I when I turn on the zero tick uh, cactus sugarcane and I don't know what, what else I'm, go I'm gonna build over there um, they're gonna travel in a tunnel right over here all the way to that hole they are going to be sorted in shulker boxes and sent through some kind of tube into this building where they're going to be sorted in this massive storage system. Just like that, inside of shulker boxes. Uh, I want to move away for now because I'm, I'm really running low on energy. Uh, I want to go back to the uh, spawn area because I received a message that something's been there left for me as a present. And I have to fly backwards <laughs> to the spawn area because I removed the nether portal so I have more place to work around my base. And I forgot where I placed all of the obsidian so... <laughs> It's gonna take me less just to fly towards the spawn area instead of searching for the, that andesite and constructing the new portal. And we are flying in inside of this spawn area, which is always so nice to see because all of these people have been building stuff like that, decorating. And I helped with the decoration, I'll, I'll uh, show you in a minute, but before we do that, I need to collect my enchanted apple. If I'm not mistaken, I won it by 10 diamonds. <laughs> All right. So, actually, I don't have diamonds on me. Nor here. They're left in my base. Okay, when I, when I collect them, I'm going to come back and collect that apple. But right now, someone messaged me. Oh, wow. Rascal, this is for all your help this season. Thanks. Um... Where is your base within your kingdom? I have no idea. You once said that you like to build with andesite, Gintium. Oh my god. This is what I'm looking for. Also, I like this block very much. So thank you, Gintian. This is going to come in useful. And smooth stone as well. I need to construct um, a massive um, smeltery. So I can do these because I'm going to be needing them really, really soon. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks guys for watching. If you like this, um, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next episode or stream. This is one of the reasons why you should subscribe to the channel. So you get notified when I release a new video or when I go live where we can hang out. You can ask me a whole bunch of questions and get informed about new things coming to this server and this community. Until then, I'll bid you farewell. Bye-bye.